Okay, so this is part two of the, all the tobacco reviews. So I got through most of the English in the previous video. Now I'm going to uh, kind of venture into the Burleys and the Virginias, what I call kind of normal tobacco or regular tobacco. Uh, no, uh, no extreme curing or, or no flavoring. I'm going to start with, let me see here. I'm going to start with Cornell and Deal. I have a lot of C and D blends here. This is Exhausted Rooster. There's a little bit of topping on this, but it, for the most part, it is a, a tasty flake of Virginia's and Dark Fire Burleys and a dash of Perique. Uh, I ordered this once. I really liked it. I would give this um, probably a B. I never had that bowl that you know really made me take a step back and said, "Man, I gotta, I gotta log in and and stock up of this." Uh, but I know I had some good bowls. Um, that stuck out a little bit. I just never had that amazing experience with it. Uh, but the Exhausted Rooster is a solid, uh, solid tobacco. Uh, Wessex Burley. That's all there is to say about it. A plus, A plus plus. Uh, I'm a Burley smoker now, and there's something about Wessex that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, out of all my tobaccos here, this is in my top three. Um, enough said. There's nothing else I can say about it. I love it that much. Sunday Picnic. This is a Cornell and Dill blend. And it's one of those that had kind of the, the generic uh, name and the generic uh, label. And I was, I was ordering tobacco and I thought, you know, that looks kind of low rent. Uh, I'm not going to expect much. And I'll be damned. I was really surprised. This is uh, Golden Virginia's combined with Perique in Izmir Turkish. Uh, tobacco. And, and it's hard for me to, to say exactly what I like about this, but some uh, some days I would swear it's a burly. Uh, some days I would swear it's a vapor. Uh, there's just something really high quality about this. This is also probably my top three. Uh, I'm going to give this a, an A+. Plus. Again, some bowls are, are good, some bowls are great, but uh, overall this is a really great tobacco. I went through a Solani phase these are all out of order here. I went through a Solani phase. Um, and I don't have it here with me. Uh, Solani Blue Label is a... Actually, it's right here. Solani Blue Label is an aromatic. And the first one I had of this, I loved it. I mean, I, this actually made me stop and get up and, and uh, say, i got to write this one down because I don't want to forget it. Uh, this was early in my pipe smoking days. Uh, I went to the a pipe show soon after that and bought five tins. And just like getting overexcited about some of these other tobaccos, uh, like Larry's blend, you know, those five tins sit around for almost a year. I think I still have two of them up there. It was one of those, you know, aromatics really grab you at the beginning. And uh, then you kind of, you can start uh, teasing up the flavors of non-aromatic blends. And when you come back to the aromatic, it's not quite the same experience. So I think this is a great tobacco uh, for a new or novice pipe smoker or someone who likes uh, aromatics. There was something special about it at the time, but uh, if I smoked it today, uh, I probably just probably just wouldn't smoke it. I actually loved it so much, and I sent it to Matches 860, and uh, he did a review of it. And I, I think that's all there is to say about it if you watch his review. But it is a great tobacco out there for, for you uh, aromatic smokers. Because I was on such a big Solani kick, I actually got the Solani white and black as well. And from what I recall, it's not nearly as aromatic as, or flavored as, as that one. It was, it was kind of mild. Uh, it was neither great nor bad. There was nothing negative about it. Um, just nothing really stood out about it. So, I, you know, I'd probably give this a, a B or B minus. Um, this one I actually might return to just to give a or give it a, a second opinion. Um, just because I. I didn't have the, the uh, palate, I guess, to, to tease out some of the flavors of more subtle tobaccos. So, Solani White and Black, I'm going to put a question mark on that. I'm going to return to that one day. I probably would not uh, return to this just because of where my palate is today. Ola Golden Slice, a tobacco that's been reviewed quite often. I liked it when I had it, but I would probably never order it again, just because there are there are tobaccos out there that are, are close to it that I think are better. Um, it does have a hay and, and, and kind of a grassy taste. It makes a lot of people's top ten. Uh, I never had a never had a fantastic bowl with this that maybe you know, 
stop and get up and want to write that name down, make sure I order it again. Definitely a solid tobacco, though. Not something I would throw out. Uh, Old Dark and Fired by H&H. &H. I went through a couple phases where I, I probably went through three tins of this, and there were times when I absolutely loved it. I had a couple of standout bowls here uh, that were absolutely fabulous. Again, I probably wouldn't order it again just because I think I found things, other tobaccos here that were close, um, that, that gave me what I was looking for. You know, I, I think on if I, if, I, if I want this, I could probably have a Wessex Burley um, to, to, to get close to it in one sense, and I can have a Sunday picnic to get close to it in another sense. That's just uh, my opinion. Um, so not terribly unique anymore, but definitely a solid tobacco. I'd give this an A-. minus. This is one of the first tobaccos I bought as well, so I, you know, I'm reviewing it as a novice. It's uh, after dinner, 1888. At the time, it did nothing for me. I, I did smoke, I think, almost all of it. I don't know if I'd want to return to it just because of, uh, again, my palate's expanded ever since then. But um, it, is, it didn't do anything for me at the time. I'd probably give it a B minus, uh, C plus. I'd love to hear for someone who uh, has tried it recently, though. Okay, uh, Rat Rays. Again, one of my favorite, uh, my favorite companies. Uh, Marlin Flake. I've had some amazing bowls of Marlin Flake. Unfortunately, I haven't had them recently. This is probably my second tin. Uh, I love the first tin so much that I definitely want to make sure I order the second tin. I think this is a great tobacco. I'm going to give it an A. Uh, for some reason, the last couple bowls I've had haven't really stood out, uh, but I chalked that up to maybe an unusual tin, or uh, maybe I'm just not smoking it right. But you know, I think Marlin Flake deserves all the praise that it gets, and it's something that I think I'm going to keep around all the time. Uh, Interlude is very similar. This is a Cornell and Dill blend. It's going to be very similar to uh, Sunday Picnic. I have yet to smoke it, but I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to this uh, because now that I know I love Sunday Picnic, I want to go kind of right or left and kind of expand around Sunday Picnic. And uh, one of the guys at the pipe show said this is the way to do it. Salani Age Burley Flake. Um, I also sent this to Matches 860, and he reviewed this along with the other Salani. A lot of reviews on this. Again, one of my top fives. Solid A. It, it is kind of expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. Enough said. Uh, Haunted Bookshop. Yeah, this is one that I bought and threw out. I wanted to call it Haunted Dust Shop at the time. Uh, I think I bought it, bought it in bulk the first time. Didn't get it. I just didn't get it. And I think that was the beginning when I was starting to get into Burleys. Um, but I saw so many videos after I threw it out, I decided to give it one more shot. And I'll be damned if I like it now. It, yeah, I've, I've had some really good bowls with this. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to, it's like uh, like that horse racing movie. You know, sometimes you got to give uh, give it to back with a second shot. I think on a bookshop's worth a second shot. Um if you didn't like it the first time you tried it. Old Joe Krantz, I liked this the first time I had it. I think it's similar to Haunted Bookshop, but there was something different about it. Uh, and I knew I liked it right off the bat. So I, I'm going to keep Old Joe Krantz around. Uh, I think it's going to be in my rotation for a long time. Uh, Cornell and Deal Burley Flake number three. I haven't had all four Burley Flakes, but I have had two of them. Uh, but I really like this. Pure tobacco -y taste, I'm going to give this uh, an A. Now, I'm not quite an A+, because it's maybe not necessarily complex, but um, now that I'm a Burley guy, th there's something about this in Sunday Picnic uh, that I really love. Uh, Wessex you know, does make some okay blends that I just didn't do anything for me. Wessex Sovereign is one of those. I don't really have a lot of memory of it. It, it tasted like something. It was it had curly Q cuts. Uh, didn't stand out for me in any, any given way. Uh, I wouldn't order it again, but I definitely didn't throw it out. I, I smoked the whole thing. That's all there is to say about that. All right, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to do a part three. I have about five more tobaccos here.